Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Finding Math. Um, first of all, I need to say sorry that um, it has been a while for me not to upload videos. Uh, because uh, in my home, I have to take care of my two kids, and they are always uh, noisy. So uh, the environment is not quite suitable uh, to take the video uh, these days. But uh, fortunately, I'm quite active in the Instagram now because uh, making an Instagram post uh, uh, will not be affected by the noisy kids. So uh, if you want uh, if you want more math content, more math problems, you may you may follow my Instagram, uh, Finding Math, the same name. And there are many uh, interesting math problems from uh, geometry, integrals, and some like puzzles or math facts uh, that you may find interesting. So uh, thank you very much for your support. So the problem in this video is very simple. We have two uh, big circle, each of radius of one unit. And then there are many circles. They are tangential to the big circle and a horizontal common tangent to all the circles. And we need to find the total area of the colored uh, circles. So we need to calculate the red, orange, yellow, green, blue to infinity, the total area of all circles. So to find the total area of all circles, we need to find the relationship between the radius of each circle. So we need to do a general case. So now we consider three circles here. And then we will let the radius for the two circle be A and B. So for the left circle, I will call the radius uh, B A. And the right hand side, orange circle, the radius is B. And the yellow circle, the radius be R. And a very common technique uh, to deal with touching circles problem is to join the centers. So let me call a ruler, okay. And I mark the center for the yellow circle here. And then I join all the center very carefully. <laughs> okay, and then the last one. Well, notice that um, the red circle and the orange circle, they have um, different size because I want to find the general case uh, between uh, for the relationship between the radius. So now we have uh, we have joined the three centers. And another useful technique is to create right angle triangle. So now this triangle is not right angle, right? It's a random uh, triangle. So now we try to create Right, right angle triangle by extend uh, this length from the center of the red circle to the tangent. So this uh, this length should be A, right? And then we do the same for the orange one. And then now we make a horizontal line here from the yellow circle and here to the orange circle and we call this line uh, a horizontal line. So we create two right angle, right angle triangle here. And then we start to uh, find out the relationship between uh, the radius. So now we first focus on the right, uh, the, sorry, the left hand side, right? The left hand side, this length is A, right? This is the radius of the red circle. And then this small length is the R, radius of the yellow circle. And this vertical length is also R, right? So this little vertical length is also R. But the total distance from the center to the horizontal line is A. So this part is A minus R. And then we let this horizontal distance be x. So 
we have x here and then now we focus on this right angle triangle so we can apply Pythagoras theorem to uh, these three side lengths and then we can write x square plus a minus r square is equal to a plus r whole square and then we can simplify this expression a bit so we can expand all the bracket x square plus a square minus 2ar plus r square equals a square plus 2ar plus r square so we have some um, equal terms and then we can cancel them so we make x square to be the subject x square is equal to 4ar so this is our first relationship and then we focus on the right angle triangle and using the same argument we can we can see that this length is b this is r right and then this length is b minus r and then we at the same time let this line segment be y so this part is also y right and then now we can focus these green right angle triangle and we can write it uh, in the middle so now y square okay I go up a bit plus b minus r whole square is equal to b plus r whole square well notice that these two equations are very similar so we can simplify the algebra um, in the same manner and then we can get the relationship y square is equal to 4ar so the final right angle triangle is here I draw a horizontal line from the center of the red circle to here and then I go up and then I focus on this um, very thin right angle triangle so notice that this length is the radius of red circle A and this is B so the total length of the horizontal segment is exactly equal to x plus y so I write it here and finally how about this small line segment well this is exactly equal to the radius of the orange circle B minus the radius of the red circle A so this is B minus A indeed so now we can write the equation in the right hand side here and okay I use a smaller pen and we know that x plus y whole square plus b minus a whole square is equal to a plus b whole square so now we expand this equation a bit and we keep x plus y to be whole square and then for the these two whole square term I will I will move them to right hand side and then I will apply the identity of the difference of two square which is a plus b plus b minus a parenthesis a plus b minus b minus a parenthesis and this is the left hand side and then for the right hand side we know that this a will cancel and this b will cancel and then we are left with uh, 2b times 2a uh, which is 4ab right so we now take the square root on both sides so x plus y is equal to okay of course in general we should 
take care about the plus minus, but we are calculating length in the circle. So we ignore the negative side here. And then I simply I erase the side. And x plus y is equal to 2 root a times b. And then on the left hand side, we have the relationship we find before, which is x squared equals 4ar, right? So x will be equal to 2 square root ar, and y will be equal to 2 root. Oh, sorry, I write wrong. <laughs> sorry. Oh, this is b. Ah, yeah. Hold on. Okay, this is b. Okay. This is br, right? Okay. And then, okay, we just copy to here. 2 root AR plus 2 root BR is equal to 2 root AB. So now we can cancel out the common factor 2 on both sides. And then we can define everything uh, by square roots of a, B, R. So let's see what happens on the equation. Well, this root A, R will cancel with the A, R and leaving 1 over root B plus the root B, R will cancel with root B, R leaving 1 over root A. And then root AB cancel with root AB and leaving with 1 over root R. And this is the relationship between the free radii of the free circles. And we can think of it uh, like this. If we have two um, big circles, and then the radius is, of, of course, is A and B, and then we can use this equation to find the small circle uh, between them and let's see how we can use this equation in the next in the next page so let's find out the um, orange circle radius first and we can use the previous formula and we know that the orange uh, circle radius and we call it r. We know that 1 over root r is equal to 1 over root 1 over r plus 1 over root 1 because it is in the middle of two big uh, circle with radius 1. So after some calculation, we know that the r is equal to 1 over 4. And then we can go ahead with the yellow one. And for the yellow one, we treat uh, the yellow is between the orange, which is 1 over 4. And then it is also between the very big circle with radius 1. So we can, again, use the relationship with 1 over root r. So now r is equal to the radius of the yellow circle. And then which is equal to 1 over root 1 plus 1 over root 1 over 4 and then we can do some calculation 1 over root r is equal to 1 plus so this is uh, equal to 2 and then 1 plus 2 is 3 and so 1 is equal to 3 root r and then root r is equal to 1 over 3. So r is equal to 1 over 9. So we can see the pattern, right? We see the pattern. We notice that the denominator is a square number, right? It's the reciprocal of a square number. So we write down the pattern. The very big circle, the first, the first term is 1, and then 1 over 4, 1 over 9, and then 1 over 16 and then so on so we can now the total we can calculate the total area now so what is the total area is a uh, pi r square right so pi 1 square 
plus pi 1 over 4 square plus pi 1 over 9 square and plus 1 over 16 whole square plus dot 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 to infinity and then now we have factorized the pi out and then 1 square is 1 plus so 1 over 4 whole square I can rewrite it like 1 over 2 to the power 4 plus 1 over 3 to the power 4 by the same principle and then 4 to the power 4 so what is this sum and this is the very famous the Riemann Sitter function okay let's see I can write it simple at its value at 4 because the Riemann Sitter function is defined as the summation of uh, from n to 1 to infinity 1 over n to the power of s so now we're substituting s to be equal to 4 so the total area is just pi times theta 4 and then we know that for theta 4 there is a standard value is pi to the power of 4 over 90 so the total area is pi to the power of 5 over 90 and it is very fascinating that the theta function appears in a geometry question because usually this function will occur in like uh, integrals of course and then maybe some number theory problem and of course of, of course the most famous one is the Riemann hypothesis but it appears in a geometry question with a very simple setup it's like when you have two uh, unit circle and then you have to calculate all the area of the uh, circles tangential to all the circle and the common horizontal tangent so I hope you guys like this video and if you find this, find this video interesting please like and share and comment and we will see you in the next video and in my Instagram thank you bye bye